Hey guys, Chip here. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was showing uh, one of my friends uh, my commentaries, and he was looking through them. He's like, "What is this? You know, this isn't you. You know, this is boring. You know, this is not the real you." Blah blah blah. You gotta be more out there. Tell some, tell people about your stories and blah blah blah. And I was thinking, but you know what? He has a good point. So instead of bringing you a regular, well, I guess. Well, it's still a commentary, I guess you could say, but a little different from the usual. This is going to be a little, uh, a little, how do you say, not graphic, but a little inappropriate, I guess you could say. And if I sound a little different, you're probably going to hear me sniffing a lot or whatever, because I've been kind of sick. I've been sick for a week, but I, uh, I wanted to bring you guys something new, you know. Oh, and by the way, uh, hello to all the new subscribers. I know a lot of you guys came from that uh, Search and Destroy video <coughs> I uploaded on Monday or Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday night. Um, just a little heads up. Don't expect too many of those. Um, I think they're funny and all, but, you know, I think they're the kind of videos that take the least effort. All you have to do is go into Search and Destroy, die, and just hope. People that you're in the lobby with are little kids. <laughs> but I might do another one, you know, if I get the chance to play with some friends searching the story again, you know. Anyway, let me tell you guys a story. Alright, oh, I feel so slow. Anyway, <coughs> there comes a time in every guy's life or girl where we have to make a choice. Of whether to fuck that girl or not. To have that one night stand with that fat girl or inattractive girl that you're probably going to regret later. And there's a funny story as to how I met this girl, but uh, I'll save that for a different commentary. Um, oh boy. Anyway, um... <coughs> She's a little on the hefty side, if you know what I mean. I always told myself, I'm never going to do this. I blah, blah, blah. I have standards and blah, blah, blah. But sometimes when you want it, you want it. <laughs> and to make not to make this story drag on, um, we were hanging. We hung out once, you know. She kind of got really attached to me and I kind of tried to distance myself, you know. And then when she noticed that, she's like, huh, maybe I should, like, you know, play my ace in the hole. So she started, you know, saying, hey, we should do this and we should do that. And I'm like, oh, you know, I haven't done it in a while, so why not, you know? So eventually it got to the point where, you know, I gave her the D or as the son would say, you know, drop the D. <laughs> drop that big dick on her forehead. Leave my... <laughs> okay, anyway, that's it. That's his thing. I'm not going to get into it. I'm going to leave that to him. You know, dropping D's and shit. <laughs> um, so, there was this one day where she's like, Okay, I, why don't we go take a shower? And I was like, Oh, this is awkward. Uh, I was like, Well, at least she has the guts. You know, she she's not shy. She's like, You know what? I don't give a fuck. Let's go take a shower. And I was kind of like hesitant. I was like, I don't know. I was like, you know what? Okay, why not? So we go in there, you know. We <laughs> I haven't told this story to anybody, not even my real life friends. So <laughs> you guys should feel special. Anyway, uh, we get in there, you know. We start messing around, but and then out of care, I don't know. I just I just bent her over. I was like, you want to put it in your ass? <laughs> And she's like, uh, oh, okay then, yeah. And I was like, that's not the first time I ever did a girl on the ass. Probably like the second time or third time. Anyway, you know, I'm just, okay, I put it in your butt. You know, I'm doing my, I do my thing, you know. And then finally, when I'm about to re reach the point of no return. Uh, actually, I didn't even pull out. I just like fluffed it in it and it just like splooged in her ass. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's really enough. Gross, huh? I'm sorry. Anyway, so as 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 soon as I'm you know done um releasing myself, <laughs> uh, I'm about to you know pull it out. So 
I just pull it out, and then as soon as I pull it out, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I could not believe it happened. It was just like it was. I was like, oh god, oh god. When I pulled out, a turd <laughs> came out along with. <laughs> oh god, that was so. Oh god, I have coffee. That was so gross. And you just see like the splooch come out of it too. Like just like you just see like a turd flying out with a bunch of jizz. I was like, oh, oh my god. And I was like, I was laughing, but she like, I, I don't know. Like, I know it was, a, it was gross. I had like a face of like disgust, but I was like laughing because it was, oh, it was disgusting. It was fucking gross. And she just tries to play it off, you know, like a fucking champion. She's like, she's just there. She just like kicks it into the fucking drain. And I was like, you just, I was there like, she didn't say anything. I was like, you can't play that off, right? You just can't take a shit in front of me. Basically, take a shit in front of me and just play it off. Like, nothing happened. Like, what What the fuck? Like, <laughs> really? And, <laughs> and holy shit dude <laughs> well it wasn't holy I'll tell you that but yeah that was one fucking hell of an experience and hey I gotta give her props you know she played it real cool she didn't cry or she didn't get upset she didn't say like oh I'm sorry or anything. she should apologize that was dirty that was disgusting but, <laughs> yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my, uh, disgusting story, I guess. My little personal story, you know. Um, I have, story, like, more, um, uh, stories, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, was this a little too much, you know? Should I just go back to regular commentaries or you guys enjoy the little explicit things, you know? I'm not saying all of my stories are, you know, like this. So, yeah, you know, I hope you like this little turn of, a, you know, turn of events, you know, a little something different from the usual what I do. I don't know what I'm going to use for gameplay. I was thinking about some Tekken Tag Tournament 2 since I got my fucking awesome fight stick. But it's already going to be in two, eight minutes, so I'm probably going to have to use some Call of Duty gameplay. So, yeah, guys. <coughs> oh, God, sorry. Thanks for putting up with me and my coughingness and my wheeziness and my... Stuffy nose, and I should be better by probably tomorrow or Friday. How do I know? Because I know. Well, anyway, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. If you guys thought it was a little too much, let me know, and I'll make sure to probably not do these again if you guys don't like them. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Your face temper. Your face temper? Dude, that's so cool. Yeah, are you jelly bean? Jelly bean. <laughs> <laughs> I had to switch. I had to switch from my shop to the my. Round. Yeah, whatever. Hey kids, what a young age! You guys are so fucking talented. <laughs>